It is finally June in Wisconsin, mid-June now, somehow, and it's been feeling like summer in Wisconsin. These warm summer breezes keep blowing through our property as we try to enjoy our last days here on our farm before we run away to the mountains. Our gardens have been getting a little wild and that's okay. We've just embraced that this is our year of pause, though we are still working hard to try to harvest what we can before we leave and prepare things so that we can harvest things when we come back. Our 70 foot strawberry bed was getting overtaken by all kinds of beautiful weeds. And so we decided to finally weed it by hand. It's labor intensive, but that's what you need when you want some slow food. Knowing that our gardens were going to be left for part of the summer, we actually decided to learn more about foraging. And we were so surprised at what we were able to find around our property that is edible that we had never thought of before. Um, like spruce tips. They're great in water and we actually made some delicious spruce tip ice cream and it was a huge hit in our house. Trying to live more seasonally means that we are trying to teach our kids how things change season by season and that you need to take advantage of what is available to you when it is ready. And one of the quickest things, the shortest season we have is violets. And every year we talk about making something from our violets and we always forget. And so this season we made it a priority to pick as many violets as we could to make some violet jelly and violet lemonade. And it was a fun experiment for the kids to make some jelly and it was delicious. live closer to our seasons and living seasonally means that you notice things more often and that we notice change and sometimes change in seasons is difficult like when summer storms roll in and flip over your shelter that was not finished yet. Luckily Dustin was home and he was able to come help me flip the shelter back over with our old tractor. Living close to nature and having animals to care for can be quite challenging, especially through stormy seasons. Now, we're in Wisconsin, and so this doesn't happen very often. It was a fluke deal. We had some winds coming straight from the south that doesn't happen very often where we live, and it just caught our shelter perfectly. So, luckily, no animals were harmed, the shelter was not damaged, and we were able to flip it right back over. Living seasonally on a homestead with lots of animals is hard work, but this slow living and this simple life is really what we always wanted. And our trip out west to the mountains of western Montana and northern Idaho is a fun little experiment that our family is going to be doing to see if maybe we could be living even more simply. So if you need us in the next few weeks, you can find us at our homestead preparing the farm, the animals, the plants, and everything for us to be gone for a while. We've got meat birds to get in the freezer and 
horses to ride and enjoy before we have to leave. Our farm stand will be closed while we are gone, but we had a wonderful plant sale this spring before we closed the doors. We are hoping that things will be ready to harvest when we come home, that we will offer to our neighborhood. But until then, we are just trying to put up as much food as we can and enjoy our time. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.